Okay, there will be no slides in this talk. Uh, it was put together after my uh, conference presentation uh, yesterday. It is titled Const Mayhem, uh, alternative title Offek learns uh, C++ on stage at CppCon. Uh, let's see what we can squeeze in uh, five minutes. So it starts off with a medley of some uh, const surprises. This code doesn't compile. The fault initialization of an object of const type without a user provided the default constructor. Uh, the C++ compiler is trying to protect us. The rationale is that if an object was uh, initialized as a const, then we would have no way to later populate its members with meaningful values. So if it has no uh, user-provided constructor, this is most likely a mistake. Um, this, this looks like untypically uh, uh, well-intentioned endeavor by the committee. Like They usually don't try to be uh, too smart, but they did try to stop this particular bullet from hitting our foot. Um, of course, this is not hermetic. I can provide a, a constructor that does nothing. Compilers today are smart enough to, war to warn when constructors uh, don't initialize members, but uh, this is completely legal code. Also, I can initialize my const objects not through default constructors. And this, again, this is considered a value construction, a value initialization. This is completely legal, C++ code. Uh, OK. Here's a first surprise. This code fails to compile. That's not a surprise yet, just a second. But if I place the same definition of a const constructor outside the class, everything works fine. No, this is completely legal. This is not a, some compiler glitch. Uh, I, I don't know the history behind uh, these decisions. Uh, my, own, uh, my guess is that uh, this definition of the default constructor could lie in an entirely uh, different file or sometimes sometime in the same file but after the const object initialization. So it might be non-visible to the compiler and it's not fair to demand the compiler uh, reason about it. It can reason only about what it sees in the, uh, the, in the class uh, declaration. Okay, now a side note, as stems from all the above, this doesn't compile. I really think it should. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm being very serious here. I think this, uh, this snippet expresses something that is worth expressing. This uh, const object can contain a member that could be populated elsewhere. Um, okay, let's close these brackets. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Is the entire premise false? Can maybe const objects can be modified after their creation? Um, how much time do I have? Oh, great. I have like 10 minutes. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> Okay, so at my talk yesterday, I gave this example or something very, very similar to a const method that legally uh, modifies members. I'm very short on time, but please take a few seconds to stare at it. A pointer member is initialized to point to an int member. This method dereferences the pointer. It, uh, the method itself has no idea where it points to, 
and increment the memory contents, thereby modifying MI. This compiles and runs just fine on all compilers. Uh, now, one could argue uh, that such code is only uh, illegal if the object being modified was initialized as const. Uh, so let's make this just a tiny bit more complicated and uh, create this situation. Uh, using the loophole from before, I can initialize a const member. Okay. <laughs> the bottom line is this, this is undefined behavior. The standard says that no matter how and no matter if it's discoverable, you can't change uh, const objects. And uh, I wish to publicly apologize for the remark I made at my talk earlier. Sorry, thank you. No problem. <laughs>